How was your day? <laughs> Do you really want to know? <laughs> Go to get, get your mullet. You can't, yeah. Like. <laughs> Can you show me your little tool? I don't think it's fit for YouTube. And it's average, not little. Um, so, Mark IV, 180. We have gotten into complete disassembly of the engine. As you can see, even the crank's out. And the reason the crank's out for this one is while we're taking it apart, uh, you can film in there, Clayton. Some of the rod bearings, although this engine was very clean on the inside and everything looks really good for whatever reason, I have my speculation of what may have happened, but a couple of the bearings had delaminated. De uh, can you see that? Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. So, to make sure there was nothing wrong with the crank also, and the crank bearings, or the main bearing, sorry, um, the cranks come out so the crank is in good shape so we're going to start cleaning things up and putting everything back together so we got the new valves uh, springs lifters everything is getting replaced on it so um, it's time to put it together so you're going to get those seals in then the valves and springs yep and so keepers and already lapped uh, all the valves put new valve seals in and uh, start reassembling everything. Cleaning it up a little bit more as I go. Then get the cams back in. Obviously, you'll see more of this footage, but um, slow and steady on this one. We've probably done a bit of time lapse of doing the main bearings and getting the crank back in it and all that. So now we're going to put the pistons on the rods and uh, I'll probably just set the camera up here so that you can see a little bit of time lapse as I go through this so just to show you we got a set of IE rods and we're gonna just pull the pistons off one by one push the wrist pin out and then uh, put the clip back in it and she's good to go then we'll start clearancing make sure the bearings are all good for the rod bearings and get those back in so we can get the head back on and start getting the fun stuff on so i'm just going to set the camera up and uh, like i said do a little time lapse so you can see the process as we go we got all the pistons and rods oriented properly i'm going to clean up the pistons a little bit more before we start putting them in and make sure the rings are all orientated properly um, before we start putting the engine back together but there we go we're ready for uh, start reassembling. Okay, hopefully there's no fingerprints on the lens here. Doesn't look like there is. I have basically been covered in oil. So I'm uh, ready to put the first piston in, uh, rod and piston in. So I have lots of clean oil, um, basically all over everything that doesn't get assembly loop. So down in the hole, there's lots of oil. There's lots of oil down in here. Um, the cranks at the bottom right now for cylinder one I'm gonna put this in uh, lots of assembly lube on the bearing and I'm gonna get that down in place um, so I'll set the camera up so that you guys can kind of see that it's pretty straightforward uh, but here we go all the rods and pistons are in all the bearings have been checked all the uh, raw bolts have been torqued properly, all the mains have been torqued properly. Um, always test it to make sure that it's going to turn over properly. Actually, you do that after every single rod and piston has been put in. Um, so now, top dead center, which I'll check in a second. Start putting the pump on, um, new main seal, bunch of new stuff. And then we can actually put the head on and uh, Start putting the turbo gear on. So, let's get to it, as always. Bunch more stuff to do. Okay, so I got the side cover on, the pump in, um, all the head studs in, these are ARP studs, gaskets on, ready to put the cylinder head on, so here it goes. Uh, 
I'm gonna start bolting the turbo gear on. I still obviously have to put the time no, whoa, whoa, belt wait, on. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First thing is you got a haircut. Yeah, dude, look at me. Fly again. <laughs> so we gotta replace this. It's damaged. You always wanna look at this before you uh, put it back on. The keyway is half sheared off. So this becomes a failure. Um, the whole engine's out. So I noticed that was damaged. Actually, Ben noticed that was damaged. So got a new sprocket coming tomorrow. But until then, we're gonna just start putting the turbo gear on now and uh, getting into the fun stuff. We got the injectors in, what are they, 630s? No. 870s? Come on, come on. 870s, thousands. No, thousands. Thousands. All right, so we got the 1,000 cc injectors in. Uh, Dave's just bolting up the manifold turbo wastegate scenario. Um, yeah. As you can see, this has already been together and there's reasoning for that. Uh, yeah, this, this came off another kit or another car. It has very, very, very low usage. So um, anyways, this guy picked it up. We're putting it on this setup and it's a 6262 precision ball bearing, uh, precision 39 mil gate. Clayton, as Clayton just mentioned, 1000 cc injectors and uh, watch your step there. Oh yeah. Time lapse here. And um, yeah, so getting this on, then we're going to do the timing belt and stuff and it's getting close to getting off the engine stand and putting the clutch and stuff on it. So the clutch we're using is a Clutchmaster FX400. Pretty standard for this kind of power that we're shooting for in this thing. And uh, yeah, anything else clean? I don't remember what else yeah. we need to talk about. Actually, I got to take off for the evening, so you'll be seeing oh, some fancy. GoPro footage for the next little bit. But uh, anyway, until next time. For you. For me. Yeah. Dave will Bye, continue Clayton. on. Bye-bye. Bye, Ben. Bye. I got the turbo gear on, turbo manifold, wastegate, the stock downpipe bolts to this kit. It, um, again, this is a CTS turbo kit, so um, it utilizes the stock placement downpipe. For timing, I switched to the manual tensioner opposed to the hydraulic tensioner. And um, I don't have the bolt in yet, but we got a new sprocket and I actually pinned it as well for extra security because the keyways are junk on these so we're going to try to push for you know some decent power so we want to make sure this is as secure as we can get it um, and that's pretty much it so we're going to get the timing all done get it timed and start putting the valve cover and the oil pan on and then uh, time to get in the car what are you digging for parts uh, boost, boost controller air fuel gauge gotta go on fuel pumps gotta go in and uh, a couple other little miscellaneous things before we put the engine in. That's the video. This is the video? This is it. What about that? That's, we don't We want to comment, want to comment on that? Um, what are these? Heater uh, core hoses. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> on these, they come out like 45s. And these, I mean that car over there. Uh, so we're gonna put 90s on it because the turbo, it sits like this. And the 45s just make it really tight, so I just got replacement 90s to make the coolant heater core hoses run much smoother and so that they're not banging into it. That's a good idea. I'm smart like that. So where did you source those? Like, what are they from? They're on my website. And now the pump, what, uh, what pump are we putting in this? Have you uh, Deech works. That? Yeah, Deech works. It'll be in the description below. Okay. Secondary air delete. Uh, the Innovate boost controller wide band all in one and this is an intake pump so that's gonna go in now. Access pin. It's like that man. It's a GLI. Boom. Can you see that? I can see it. So tools, pump, rags. Dave's in the back doing the fuel pump stuff. Um, up front working on getting the boost controller wiring through the firewall. Um, so basically I just grabbed some welding wire or a welding rod, I should say, and uh, drove it through a grommet in the firewall and started fishing the wires through with that. So I'll show you kind of where I'm going with this. Uh, so if you can see in there, there's a grommet back there and this wire uh, just feeds through that grommet and that's where I'm gonna feed all of the wiring through. 
that's needed for that. Okay, so Clayton's doing nothing over there. Oh, yeah, okay. And I got the pump basically out. You gotta take the whole basket out to do these inline pumps. Or sorry, not inline, in, in tank pumps. So, uh, yeah, thanks, that worked great. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this out, get it on the bench, and uh, start tearing it all apart. a lot of gas in there still so we got to get the gas out start taking it apart fuel pumps all together as you've seen um, we're just putting the cover back on it plugging it back in this is this rings all been hammered tight and uh, she's ready to have the cover put back on as you can tell this car is like um, New. Brand hammer new. Wood screw in it. Oops. Torqued. That's it. Click, click. All the garbage tools. You want to come over here? Fuel pump's done. After I don't know how long that took. Yeah, did you want to come over here? I don't know. Do I want to? Yeah, sure. Okay, one sec. So when Dave was doing that, I installed the boost gauge with the uh, gauge pod here and ran all the wiring through and uh, ran the fuse, fuse tap, tap yeah, and the ground um, on the on the main body actually, like the where the rebar is. Here. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. And uh, basically I just took out all these panels to get to stuff and just ran the wiring. So now I'm just gonna tuck it up underneath there, make it look neat and that's pretty much it for this. Perfect. Thanks, Clayton. No problem. So we got it all timed up. Come on this side, Clayton. We got it all timed up. Got the uh, fluid damper on there. Um, covers are all on, mounts on, and pans on, obviously. And we're just about to put the clutch and transmission on and put it in the car. The clutch is an FX400. And um, it's a six-speed, obviously, because it's a GLI. This tranny get a diff? No diff. He talked about it, but uh -uh. this is obviously a pricey endeavor, as is. So um, one step at a time. But yeah, so uh, let's do it, Clayton. Cool. Set the camera up, and I'll uh, put this on. All right. So where are we at? We are. Oh, you got. You got this lock. It's latched, yeah. I just want to make it work for it. We are not finished because we ran into a problem. That happens. So uh, the clutch and actually the flywheel is the problem for what we had. It's, I don't know if it's a super old clutch master flywheel on this thing. I have no idea either way. It wasn't gonna cut it. So we got another clutch and pressure plate on the way. Sorry, flywheel and pressure plate on the way. And as you can see, it's ready, Clayton, over there. A uh, few little lines to put on, but uh, for the most part, it's ready to go back in. And it would have been in yesterday if uh, we didn't run that. into that problem. So probably by the time you guys see this video, it will hopefully be back together, but we're just waiting on Clutchmaster right now for this. So I got on the blower today and they supposedly got it out right away, but still, it's going to take a little bit to get here. They're in California, West Coast, on the East Coast. Um, what are we forgetting? Anything? Uh, just putting it back in the car. Back in the car, yeah. So, obviously, all the new valve train, springs, valves, valve seals. I pinned the crank. Obviously, the rods. All you guys will see and all that stuff in the video. Turbo setup's on. Pumps in, gauges in, we did that stuff. Uh, intercooler, Ben did most of that. We still got some more work to do. This has got to come back off and get all cleaned out and painted and stuff like that. But the intercooler is mostly fitted now. So that's going to be the end of this video, unless Clayton has anything else. I um, think I'm good. Think you're good. So uh, the next one, we'll see this thing on the rollers with the plus button, getting the boost turned up on it to see what we can make for power. So. The client has said basically to 
push it until I feel comfortable. So we're going to put some good fuel in it. Until you feel comfortable, the yeah. client feels comfortable. Until I feel comfortable. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, ask them below. And we'll see you in the next video. You filming? Yep. Go, Clayton, start recording? I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You're here? Yep, I'm here. You're here? I'm so here filming. What now? Whoa, whoa, you're close. Oh, oh I should grab a light for f sake. GoPro, stop recording. Because you're gonna have fing guys that are not. Clayton, stop recording. So stop filming and let's do some work.